Welcome to the Daily Sweep. I'm your host, Anthony Longhair Leclerc, and I'm joined in the car by Marla the Mouse McCarty. What's up, everybody? I'm driving. She's driving. <laughs> um, so in case you're wondering why we're driving, rather than sitting in the studio with slightly better quality sound, um, we are on our way to Algonquin Park so we can spend some time in the wilderness. Hell yeah. Um, but... Uh, we still want to get our daily sweep out to you, so did you know that on this day, in 1959, Craig Douglas released his version of the Sam Cooke song, Only 16? So he didn't actually release it on this day, but on this day he was hitting number one in the UK singles charts. Ah, there you go. Okay. Um, by the title alone, it might seem like a creepy song, because it's called Only 16, and <laughs> if it's like, if it's anything like... Like, the Beatles song. Like Paul McCartney, because she was just 17. Yeah. If you know what I mean, we know what you mean, Paul. Stop. So this is, Stop. So this is a little younger, but if you listen through the song, and I'll, we'll make sure to have the, uh, well, you'll know already, because we've already recorded the, you know, we already have the intro set and the outro, but anyway, you'll be able to hear in the lyrics, it's not just about some girl he's picking up who's 16 when he's an adult. Um, he's also 16 at the time, and it's all, just all about how dummy he is as a as a kid. So way less creepy. <laughs> yeah, way less creepy. To start off though, until you hit that first chorus, you're kind of like, oh, the Whoa. shit they could get away with. Whoa, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, it's all good. It's all you know. It's all PC. Yep. Um. But anyway, so that was on this day. In 1959. Um, also, I just want to say, Craig Douglas was called the Singing Milkman. Was he really? Yeah, I believe his actual like birth name is Terrence Perkins or something like that. Mm. But he um, he used to be a milkman. Oh, that's interesting. So he used to just deliver people milk because you know back in the 50s you had like cases of oh, like, glass I bottles know. of milk. I'm telling uh -huh. I'm telling people who are listening who like don't know that that was a thing. I know oh, you're aware okay. of that. I'm not just, like, discussing with you, hey, by the way, you're too young to know this. It's not like, <laughs> it's not like it was still happening in Deep River at the time when I was growing up. Um, <laughs> but that's because we had a dairy in town, and uh, they just delivered shit by the crate. But anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, he used to be a milk delivery guy, and, um, and then hit fame uh, singing, so they called him the Singing Milkman. Totally unrelated uh, topic. On this day, in 2019, we're going to talk some shit about the local uh, music scene in North Bay, Ontario, where we're currently oh, residing. Oh, boy. So we just played a gig last night at Cecil's um, Brew House and Kitchen, and the place has got a good setup. Yeah. It's like got it's a good sound system. Which is wonderful to listen to yourself on when it's an empty room. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's a Friday night gig and it's an empty room. There was like 10 people in the bar. Like, it's it's a great restaurant. It really is. And they've got good food and like good drinks and stuff like that. It's just, there's no nightlife in North Bay. Like, just fucking nobody goes out on a Friday night. It's really strange. Well, there was a blues fest happening last night, but... As soon as it let out, people just went home. Yeah. Um, and and since Cecil shut down their um, their nightclub, that was part of their venue. Now it's a, an events space. Mm -hmm. um, since they shut that down and started their own brewery as well, nightlife there has been kind of lacking. 
Yeah. Um, and sure, it's on us a bit to bring people out, which, by the way, we had people out. Yeah, we had some people. Um, we had some, some of our friends come out. But the one thing that really pisses me off that I want to talk about mainly is not only were we asked to turn the music down, and it's a Friday night at a bar. Mm -hmm. So people know there's live music. Why are you asking us to turn it down? And it was mixed well. And everyone, like, people sitting near the speakers were like, yeah, yeah that's, that's good. Fine. Yeah, like, they said it wasn't too loud. But there was a guy who sat at the back, and he was there the whole night. And the reason why I discovered, I pieced together, that we were asked to turn down the music is because he wanted the volume on the TVs at the back on so he could listen to sports ball. Because who doesn't love a good bit of sports ball when there's live music going on? Go sport ball! I love it when they score the sports points. Oh, it's me too. my favorite. Sports it's, points are, are the best. Gets me rock hard. <laughs> like that sport with the thing, when you hit the thing and you sweep. Like oh, you, oh! Get swept up in curling, bitches! <laughs> but, uh... No, so it wasn't curling last night. I'm pretty sure it was baseball the guy was watching. And was then there was baseball. There was like tennis or something. There was tennis as well, yeah. and there were highlights of the uh, McGregor Khabib fight for whatever fucking yeah, reason. Yeah, so people were like, "Yeah, it's let's like, go watch two guys in their boxer shorts punch each other in the face." Yeah, and like hold each other down on the ground. It's like there are other websites for that <laughs> that typically you have to pay for, but instead you can just go to the bar and watch this shit. <laughs> There's a little more blood in this instance, but uh, uh, yeah. whatever. Um, so. Yeah, very bizarre. And, like, between songs, we could hear the fucking TV, like, loud, too, in that corner. Yeah. It was like, it was like, can you turn the TV up even more, even more, even more? Because the music was pissing this guy off at a bar like, where, there's, dude, where they're paying to have people play. We're being paid to play. Yeah, it's like, dude, if you want to watch the sport ball, go, go watch it in your living room. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Or go to a sports bar. Yeah, go to Boston Pizza. Go to... Isa Mario's go to any other place. Yeah, there's live, like, you, there's no way you didn't know that there was going to be live music on a Friday. Like, well, they, yeah, I mean, the bar advertises it pretty like, intensely, which exactly. is exactly, which is great. And even so, um, the, I mean, and to be fair, bar staff's pretty good there. Um, I quite enjoy them. And at the end of the night, when I went to settle everything up. I looked at one of them, like the, at the bartender specifically, and I was like, "Man, what is up with this? With this whole TV?" It's like, "Fuck! I wish I didn't have to listen to, you know, all the sports shit between songs. And sometimes during songs, I could hear yeah. the TV." And she just like she looked at me and rolled her eyes as if like as if to say, "I know, I can't stand this fucking guy." But that being said, absolutely, the staff should be able to say, "Look, I get it. You want to watch TV." But this is a bar with hired music tonight. So if you want to listen to the TV, you get headphones or you fuck off somewhere else where you can listen to it. Yeah. But you can watch it here for sure. We're going to leave the TVs on for you. But we're here to listen to live music. And just kind of, it, it's kind of the way North Bay is, has gone in a lot of sense. There, there's only like one nightclub now. So people go and party there. And then there's a bar that's near the uh, student ghetto um, because it's a college university town yeah. for those of you who don't know so there's there's a, a bar near the student ghetto that people all, all flock to because it's close by and students are cheap because they have to be um, but the downtown nightlife is kind of garbage it really is and Cecil's is right downtown and it's just like I don't know we need to sort of figure out somehow draw people in there but like some people are like oh you know it's been like this for the past couple of weeks it's like every time I play a weekend gig there it's pretty fucking quiet. And there'll be, like, some party of people, and they might stick around, but they're there for dinner. And yeah. we start too late to really bring in the dinner crowd. So it's, I don't know, something needs to be changed there, and, like, people's heads need to be twisted around. Maybe North Bay is just not the place to have nightlife, I guess. But Yeah, maybe I, not. I guess not anymore. Like, it used to be all right, but yeah. it's just kind of gone downhill. But tips to everyone who, um, who has a bar or manages a bar and hires live music don't let people turn up crank up the volume on the fucking TVs while a gig is going on the musicians do hear it and if we're even willing to turn down the music to some extent because someone's too sensitive 
to the fact that there's live music and they can't handle being in a bar with live music even though you're paying them so you should just tell the customer well that's too bad like sorry dude the, we hired them on like yeah the customer is not always right i'm sorry no. there are cases where it's just like sorry there's live music tonight we're not altering live music for you one customer when they're bringing people out to listen to the live music anyway sorry this daily sweep is just a lot of bitching and i'm so excited to put my paddle in the water like literally this is yeah. not a figurative uh thing i'm saying like literally today when we get to the lake we're going on algonquin park to go for a paddle I'm cook up some steaks so on the campfire drink some cider play some music tomorrow's daily sweep uh will be posted likely later in the evening but it's going to feature some campfire uh, music that we do oh yeah um while we're at camp so you know check out all of that tomorrow and um yeah we're over 10 minutes now so i'm gonna have to cut some of this <laughs> but uh thanks for listening to us bitch and um <laughs> we'll sweep out some uh some ash covered campfire music for you tomorrow for our daily sweep so uh, have a good one guys see ya